So we have a plane x plus y minus z equal to zero and we would like to know which are the two vectors that span this plane. So the first thing to notice is that we don't have um, a constant. So that means that the plane passes to the origin. So that means that passes through 0, 0, 0 since when x is 0, y is 0 and z is 0. That is always 0. So um, what we're going to do is first of all notice that uh, we got 1, 1 and minus 1. So that means that we can write that as 1, 1, minus 1 dot x, y and z equals 0. So that means that this vector is perpendicular to that vector there. So 1, 1, 1. Is the normal vector to the plane. So if the plane is like this, that is the normal vector. It's perpendicular to all the vectors that are within that plane. So we've got x plus y minus z equals zero. We've got three equations, three unknowns, apologies, three unknowns, one equation. So if we do three take away one, we've got two parameters. So we can write z by rearranging, moving it to the other side, z is x plus y. So we can call x the parameter lambda, that is any number that we want to be. y will be a parameter mu, so that would be a, another parameter, so we can give it any value that we want, and therefore z is going to be lambda plus mu. So that means that we can write any vector x, y and z we can split the lambdas and the mu's, so you can see that we've got lambda, no lambda, lambda, so it's lambda, zero, lambda, and here we have no mu, one mu, one mu, so it's zero, mu, mu. So we can now write that as one, zero, one, by just taking lambda common factor, and then we can mu. So that means that that vector and that vector are the basis of this plane, or we say that those two vectors span. So we say that 1, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 1 span the plane by 1. Marvellous.